ScreenFlow is powerful, easy-to-use screen recording and editing software for Mac. Let's see how easy it is to get started with ScreenFlow. When you launch ScreenFlow, the Configure Recording window will automatically open. You can also access this window from the ScreenFlow Helper icon in the top right-hand corner of the menu bar. ScreenFlow will record your computer desktop by default, but you can also choose to record video from other cameras connected to your computer. You can record audio from your built-in microphone or any connected external mic. You also have the option to record your computer audio. Press the red Record button to begin. When you're done recording, go to the menu bar and select Stop Record, or use the keyboard shortcut Command Shift 2. The ScreenFlow editing window will open automatically with your new audio and video recordings on the timeline. There are three main areas of the editing window. The large central area is the canvas. This shows you a preview of all the visual elements in your project. The white area at the bottom is the timeline. This is a visual representation of the temporal length of your project. The timeline is divided into tracks to manage different clips overlapping at the same time. On the upper right side are the Properties tabs. These are the main editing controls of ScreenFlow, allowing you to configure each clip of your project. There is also a media library which stores all recorded and imported media in an unaltered state. Now let's go through a few simple edits. First, we'll make a cut. In the screen recording we just did, we recorded our mouse going to the menu bar to stop the recording. Let's remove that. Zoom in using the Timeline Magnification slider in the bottom left corner. Place the scrubber where you want to make a cut. Then, go to Edit, Split, or use the keyboard shortcut, T. Now we can select the ends of the clips that we want to delete and hit Delete on our keyboard. Now let's add a logo to the end of our video and make it fade in and slowly move across the screen. First, we need to add our logo file to the media library. To do this, drag and drop your logo file onto the media library panel or select Add Media. Now let's add the logo to the timeline by dragging and dropping it where we want it to appear. Let's fade in the logo by adding a transition from the previous clip. Click and drag the logo clip so it overlaps the previous clip. You'll see the transition area appear where the two clips overlap. To edit the type of transition, double-click the transition area. This brings up the Transition Inspector, where you can choose from different types of transitions. For this, we'll choose the Cross Dissolve. Let's see how it looks. The next step is to add a video action to the logo to shrink it in size and make it move to the bottom corner of our screen. First, select the logo clip on the timeline. Go to the Video Properties tab and select Add Video Action. A yellow Video Action box will appear on the selected clip. To create the movement, place the scrubber at the beginning of the Video Action box. This is how the image will be seen before the action starts. Now place the scrubber at the end of the Video Action box and adjust the logo to the size and placement you want it to be at the end of the action. To resize the logo, hold the Shift key to maintain the dimensions and drag the corner of the logo. And now, move it to the lower right corner. Let's take a look at the video action we just created. Our final step is to export our video. Go to File, Export. Give your project a name. There are a number of export presets to choose from. A good place to start is with the Web High preset. This will work for most videos that will be seen on the web, but it's possible to customize the presets by clicking the Customize button. You also have the option to scale the dimensions. That's how easy it is to start recording, editing, and sharing videos with ScreenFlow.